Right, good morning YouTube, this is uh, Morphe once again, riding again. As you can see mate on the uh, tee today, I wasn't going to do because I'm trying to conserve the tyre for uh, the Scotland trip. But, uh, I went out on the uh, 250 yesterday. Uh, went for quite some distance with John on the, he had the, he had the, uh, on the 500 X and uh, went some quite a distance and it got a bit uncomfy and to be honest it was freezing, uh, no screen and uh, pretty uncomfy all that way 250 fantastic tool but it's no a mile month I didn't take you with me YouTube, I had a day off Sorry about that. I uh, just wanted to ride brain dead and uh, enjoy the scenery, so to speak. So, um, meeting Grant today. A bit late now, so over at Solar. And we're going to uh, go and find. Uh, well, unless Graham wants to go somewhere else, of course, he might have thought of somewhere else by now. I'm going to find a road over at uh, near Butter Tubbs Pass. Um, something I find on the map and it looks quite tasty. So we'll, we'll go and take a look at it if we can find it, that is. Uh, yeah bit of an explanation to begin with. I went over but the uh, Hard Knock Pass and uh, Rhinos last Sunday. We had a full day of it, uh, filmed it all, fantastic day, bit of fun, we got lost would you believe, right about 40 mile out of his way eventually and, uh, when I proper calculated it, we were about 40 miles out at road. Graham were doing the leading that day. Uh, eventually I sacked him, took over, and we found the right route and managed to get over the pass. I'm not going to put it on YouTube, even though it's a really good video, purely because the camera angle I hadn't noticed, I must have caught it and it was pointing slightly downwards. Although there's quite a lot of good footage when I'm looking forward, you know, you get you still get quite a lot of the bike. And the uh, problem was getting quite a lot of the bike. I run the phaser, which as you know is a fast bike. It wasn't the proper bike for the uh, route I went really. I suffered. Uh, especially going over the passes, uh, the suspension shook me to bits. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to put it on, all of it. I'll put the pass on, I'll put going over the hard knot and rhinos, I'll put that on. But this is an explanation as to why the rest of the video isn't on. Um, what I were going to say is, because the camera was slightly pointing downwards, what I will say is you could see all the front of the bike and the main thing you could say, see was the speed or um, so I'm uh, not putting the, uh, the film on hopefully today will be a better day, I'll re re realign the camera and see how we go on but it's another lesson learnt from Morphe another cock up along with the rest of the cock ups I've seen to make these days in fact the older I get the more cock ups I make there's quite a lot of grit on this road and salt I wish you'd give over it's getting a bit you know <sighs> what they like with this bloody salt and grit Just give it a rest, will you, for Christ's sake.
But as I say, we do know uh, one of the county council lads, his name shall uh, remain anonymous. And unfortunately for us bikers, the uh, grit is in plentiful su uh, supply. They've uh, stockpiled and it's looking like they're going to have to get a shut of it. So, in typical British wasteful ways, if you don't use it this year, you'll not get it next year. Look at that lot. So, uh, it's going to go down uh, thick and fast, isn't it? Just because they've got to get shut of it instead of saving the money. Crazy, crazy, crazy system again. Good old, only in Britain. Only in Britain. I'm stopping away from the other British topic at the moment, as you'll all know what it is. I'm not even going to mention that, doing my heading along with everybody else's. So that's enough said on that one. Anyway, we're heading for uh, Pendlehill. Now, how are we doing for time? Can't see the clock. Uh, I know I'm late. Graham's gonna uh, can only apologise, Graham. One thing in the other, getting the camera sorted and the batteries and this and that and the other. Don't matter what time I get up. I haven't sat down this morning, you know, I'm not going to believe it's been 6 o'clock. It's now about 8. Uh, time to get the dogs out, and one thing and another. Yeah, my poor little one goes in for that operation this Wednesday. Well, she's having quite a lot done. Teeth out. Spurred. Tumour removed. All in one do. She's only a tiny dog, I hope she makes it through. Break me little heart. I've had that little darling eleven year. Eleven year. Count on one hand. Mind of time that took it out every day, you know, I haven't took it out and I've had it do one thing or another. Well happened a bit long a bit more because I had that bloody sciatica. I have to take them out for a couple of weeks until I've got mo mo uh, manoeuvrability back. Yeah, it's proper cold. Um, it would be too uncomfortable on any of the other two bikes. Although the Fraser, cracking bike for what it is, it's no adventure, unfortunately. Best wheel in the world. Um, as I say, I went last Sunday. Uh, took a trip down on Graham's advice, Wasdale, all the way to the end of Wasdale for anybody who knows it. Only one way in, one way out, yes. So when we got to the far end and realised we couldn't go any further, we had to turn round and go all the way back. We then uh, proceeded to ride for another few miles before I stopped and made him give me the map, which was at that point um, I found out that we were 14 mile, still 14 mile from uh, where I wanted to be, boot. So I had to sack him and I uh, took the lead and needless to say you JB, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, I know exactly what you're thinking. How the hell <laughs> did I find it? Oh, it was more luck than judgment I think. <laughs> Oh God, God knows what we're going to be like when we go to Scotland, me and him. Oh, I should have to think. It seems like we're settling on a route. I think we're going to go all the way to Penrith. On roads, you know, taking in a bit of scenery. And then I think we're going to take these, the A9 to Edinburgh. And Edinburgh to Inverness, that way. We're going to uh, stay away from uh, Glasgow. Take a slightly longer, we, we, we realise that, but uh, that appears now to be the route we're going. When Mick and uh, Jason were coming, they wanted to go to the motorway, and we were more than happy to go to the motorway, William. But as it's only me and Graham, it's going to be a man yarn, a man yarn. 
and that's the route we're taking. Oh, sorry, Graham, I'm proper late now. Oh, he's going to be, he's going to be a little, he'll be, he'll be cold. Well, that little lad went out down my head there. Hey, oh, he's slightly late. Make me feel better. I just couldn't help it this morning, as I said, I haven't stopped. It's just been one thing after. I wasn't going to take this back, so it wasn't ready to go. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's what it is. I had to check all the uh, tyres, the pressures and condition. I know it's, in, you know, it's only done a couple of thousand miles, but I still like to check everything before I um, venture out on any of my bikes. Really, take it gingerly around here. Oh, these these uh, 30 and 40s are doing my head in. You know how long how long are these going to go on for? Jesus Christ! Sorry, YouTube, if I feel in a nasty mood this morning, it will subside when I've catched up to Graham and. Uh, I don't like anybody, having anybody wait for me, you know, I'm usually quite punctual and on the, on the button. It's usually people, I'm me waiting for people, and unfortunately today, it's not the case. Look at that, how does that work then? How does that work? YouTube? He's obviously not sticking to the uh, speed limit. Look, you can do, you're just stuck. I think police would use a bit of common sense here, I would, I think so, because this is crazy. 60 mile an hour road, they've had the bloody roundabout in for Christ knows how long. They've been doing it since last spring. And we're still on this malarkey. I mean, come on. Overcast day, as I say, it is very cold. Uh, yesterday, although uh, the sun the sun was out, it looked a lovely day. It was absolutely clear as a bell. It was flaming, freezing, and it never got any warmer. Stopped at that list of arms again in um, Malham. Johnny had a bacon butty, and we had a coffee and. I've got to say, what we had was very nice. Uh, slightly expensive for what you get. Well, in my, you know, it's, it's not a, a normal cafe we go in, it's a bit uh, upmarket like. But it is nice. And the stuff you get is nice. You know, I don't mind paying if it's quality, and it is quality gear. Um, yeah, so if you do go to Malham, definitely look up that place if you sat in front of a roaring fire warm the cell up. No shortage of a supply of logs. Well we sat there they threw two on for us just to get us you know get us warm. So yeah no complaints there. I've dressed for the occasion today and I've got a bit few more layers on. Yes it had got to me a bit even with me to get kit which is good because uh, Prior to yesterday, the heater kit felt all right on its own, and I was getting a bit complacent. I had virtually nothing, you know, uh, only a t-shirt and a normal jumper underneath me uh, jacket yesterday. It weren't enough. Uh, eventually turned the jacket up onto full the heated jacket, and I just about kept it off. But it's a lesson learned, is that lesson learned wear more gear. So I've put an extra layer on today. Uh, plus the uh, Africa Twin gives you more protection on my chest. You know I'll not get that uh, it's going over my head which is good. Keeping me warm which is good. I don't appear to have any buffet in. My height appears to be okay on, uh, on that normal screen. But I may at some stage look into um, an extension. Don't even make it worse or better, I don't know. But 
Oh, I am not giving it all. See how we go on. You can see the roads are salted and gritty because they have the appearance of being damp, and that's the molasses in the mixture keeping everything damp. Crazy, 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 crazy. Must have more money than sense. Look at that look. Two lads look like they're out for the day, maybe waiting for some. More people to arrive maybe. Where's my mucker? Oh, well, I'm proper late now, ten minutes. I hope he's overslept. He's overslept. About ten minutes. Oh, he's not. Is he here, my mate? Oh, he's asleep. Sorry, Jim. That's taking piss, and uh, you're taking piss. <laughs> Sorry about that, I've been up since 6 o'clock getting ready. One thing and another just gone wrong. Camera, gloves, this, that, the other. Do you like it? Huh? Yeah. Along with this. Yeah, just gives that a bit of protection. A what? A what? Oh Christ almighty. <laughs> Honestly, I brought the torch from home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honestly. It's probably. That's what that's what all checks I've done. I've checked everything, checked tyres, checked this, checked that, checked other, checked everything, checked nothing's loose, and never saw the bloody oh Jesus Christ. Oh I'm a lunatic. Perhaps Bevit. Perhaps wife is right, I'm a dick. It's official, it's official. It's official. Hey chum, I couldn't stand another day on that 250. Right. Yeah, right. Where are you off to today? Where are you off to? Where are you off to? Uh, we're going to go over to Butter Tubs Pass and we're going to try and find a road that we've been looking for. Alright. Oh, <coughs> Where are you going? Uh, up to Oars, I think. Oars? She said he went up to Oars. Fresh, isn't it? Oh, very fresh. Have a cracker. Yeah. <laughs> nice lads. No. He was stopped at the top of the road when I come round the corner. I just waved at him. But uh, yeah, nice. For, nice for him to ask if you want to go. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Oh, where, which way are we going? We're to try and find that road. If you want, yeah. If we went to Kettlewell from here, which way would we go? We'd have to go to Barn Old, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Or shall we go this way? Or the We've got three ways, haven't we? Or four ways, if you want to go that way. We can either go over the trough, yeah. over to Bentham, through Gisborne Forest, that's the one. Oh, 
So number one cock up for today Brought me torch Brought me bloody torch That's we checking back and all there's got to be more than me that does these sort of things, surely out there. Come on YouTube, help me out. <laughs> help me out. Oh dear God. Adventures with Morpher. Would you come with it? Would you be happy? Would you be happy for me to lead the tour? <laughs> oh no no no! Right, we're on it. We're on it. I think I hope to God I've got some uh, traction on, because I turned all messing about with uh, control this morning. Oh, no. I will I do. I think I left it on too. Oh uh, dear God. It's just a bit, I'm misting up you see, when I shut the lid for the uh, wind, I can't see a bloody thing. I need it open a little bit just to be able to see. Is that cold? Although I have to say, with kit I've got on, it's not bad at all. You know, it's uh, it's doable. It's doable, and if Scotland gets, if Scotland's a bit warmer than this, or the same temperatures as this, I'll be all right. I can manage in this. I mean, everything's not on full here at the minute. Well, I've all my kitting done full. It's all on medium. So I can go up a notch should I need to. Not happy about this salt, it's bloody thick. Crazy, 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 crazy. Britain. Only in Britain, YouTube. Only in Britain. We've got a mountain of salt and grit. <laughs> we'll splash it all over. Dollop here, dollop there. <laughs> Plenty of thickness everywhere. Splurge it out. Be a wash, complete wash down when I get home. For sure. Although this little till's covered in uh, ACF 50 won't bother it. <laughs> so we're going to go over the trough. A uh, lovely scenic area you've been with me before. Corner gear because you, you still have to take it wide on this. You know, 250 turn a lot tighter. But this ain't now 250. What's going on here then? It's a damn plush of light ride on this, it does, it is comfy. No, this is proper comfy, I should have gone, gone over uh, or not on this last week. That is pocket says don't be so tight, just get some tight, it's not about that. I'm trying to conserve tyre. Because I know I'm going to ruin them, you know, going straight when you're riding to Scotland up at A, what, A9 is it, or any bits of the motorway we might hit, which I hopefully we won't mate. 
on the route we're going to check but we're going to square them off for sure it, that's if there's out left on them I've done 3,200 on them now if I get a couple of hundred on today it should be alright I checked the rear and I've got uh, 6 mil I think there's 4 on front, 4 mil on front, 6 on back this is that tight corner, catch anybody out this you don't sit chevron so last minute they should be a bit further back but hey ho BC there that's a plus Pheasant there she goes Mrs Pheasant don't run back into the road thick aren't they, proper thick Even with lid uh, slightly open, my face is freezing. I've put my uh, balaclava on today. On a warmer day, it makes your head itch like mad. So in, in my bag, I brought uh, a couple of uh, neck warmers. Two if it's, I have to take it off and use them. Two if it's proper cold, I'll just stick one on. If, uh, if it's warmed up, but I can't see it warming up today, I really can't. I was down in the woods this morning, the sun climbed down there with a couple of kids camping, big fire going. Littlest of kids is obviously freezing, he's coughing his head off. Coughing his head off, he's obviously froze to death. What? Oh, I don't know, I don't know what gets in the head. And as he packs his gear away, he's left a big roaring fire going. So it just, just tells you what he is just tells you exactly what he is poor little kids it's cough 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 scratch couldn't scratch for coughing must have been absolutely freezing anyhow yeah when I were down there the uh, bluebells proper out now, way out I reckon another couple of days be a nice carpet down there the bluebells Graham has just seen on his tenure he's still caught serving tyres of his uh, tracer 900 which he's going to Scotland on the other thing I wanted to do was just make sure this is running right, you know, uh, when we went out on it last time I knocked the throttle off and it uh, conked out going down the road which isn't good so I want to make sure uh, the little girl is 100% uh, and running bang on It took me a while because I haven't rode this bike for a few weeks to remember it's got cancelling indicators. Been knocking them off since I've been coming but uh, I don't really need to. In fact I don't know why he uses them because Graham knows exactly where he's going. So there's no more traffic about pheasant, I shan't be using them. Yesterday, a dead barn on the side of the road, not good to see. Ah, mm -hmm. Flown into a car, they do fly low over roads. You know, a barn owl. What else did we see? Saw the common buzzard again. I used to catch a lapwing and curlew springs to mind. I know a variety of uh, songbirds. Took John on the road, he'd never been on and he really enjoyed his cell. Uh, he has an app on his phone, he's mapped it so he can go on his own night. Find it his cell. 
Chris and Jason are out on the sports bot on the KTNs, they'll be terrorising the countryside at some stage today, maybe around 10, 11 o'clock. And the other Chris, he's bikes in bits, well he breaks off, got uh, bolt snapped off of something in his front caliper, having it drilled out. So he'll not be venturing out to do it all this weekend. At least there's no crap spread on these roads, that's one good thing. I just love being out here. Look how dry these roads are because there's no salt on right. What is wrong with Britain? Wake up! Wake up! Perfect condition these roads for riding in and yet they spread all that crap all over the main road. Why? It's not when it's snow. Born dry. We're born dry. It's not rain. Hasn't rain. You can just see, can't you just see how wet how damp it gets the road because of the crap they put on. Bloody idiots. Summit flew that I took up there, I didn't see quite see what it was. Might have caught it on camera. I hope the uh, camera angles the damn sight better today. As I say, I just ruined it the other day. Absolutely ruined a fantastic ride out and a good natter as well. And a bit of fun. Had to turn it off at one stage because uh, a few swearing words were going on because of the uh, route. The glorious leader, if you can see him in the mirror, the glorious leader last Sunday took us on. If he'd been back at Cowboy Days, he'd have been shot. That would have been it. Wouldn't have got another second chance at that malarca. S. Leben, lovely little village just nestled down there. Absolutely nice, beautiful village.